Hello everyone, this is Pastor Miguel from the Children's Bed Deliverance Ministry Church here in Maryland. Today I want to talk to you about cleansing your home. What to do to cleanse your home from demons. Uh, people claim that they have ghosts in their homes, that they have poltergeists in their home. Poltergeists and ghosts are both the same thing, which are demons. So there's no ghost, there's no people, dead people, spirits in your home. Uh, what you have in your home are demons, okay? So there's two reasons why you could have demons in your home. There's actually a lot of reasons why you could have demons in your home. I'm going to discuss a few of them. Starting off with, you could have uh, demons in your home if, for some reason or another, uh, things took place in your home in the past that gave demons legal right to be in the home. So just like a person, demons claim legal rights against a person, when they when they demonize a person, they do the same thing with people's homes. When they claim or dwelling, whatever dwelling it could be, it could be your your um, your office building. So they claim legal right to be there. Uh, second thing will be because you're practicing some kind of sin in your home. Um, you know, if you're if you're doing witchcraft in your home, you definitely invite demons into your home. Uh, third would be if you're um, some somehow you have demons. If you have demons, the demons inside of you will jump out and do stuff in your home and then jump back right back into you. And so this is why we tell people that when they come to us and they tell us that they have demons in their home, there's stuff moving around, there's stuff missing, we tell them that they have to go through ministry first to make sure that we get the demons out of them because more than likely they have demons. So that's like 95% of the cases where people complain about stuff moving on in the home, TVs turning on and off, um, you know, hearing walking at, in the middle of the night. More, more than likely, it's because they have demons and this, so they need they need deliverance. So uh, keep that in mind. So how do we do a deliverance uh, on a dwelling or a home or an office building, for example? Well, it's very simple. You have to do the same thing that you do with a person. You have to remove the legal right of the demon to be there. Once the legal right is removed, then you could command the demons to leave the home. And you ask the Holy Spirit to dwell in your home. You ask Jesus to dwell in your home, right? And you have to stay away from uh, sin. Uh, you know, live a, a godly life. Pray in your home. Um, bless your home. Anoint your ho home with oil. And ask the Holy Spirit to make uh, your home a dwelling. His dwelling. And so He will. So... Very simple, you know, that's the most simple thing you could do. Obviously, if, if it's a dwelling that's haunted, uh, as people call it, you know, make sure that you do an exorcism on your home. But first, I would suggest that you receive deliverance for yourself to make sure that you don't have demons, and that's the reason why the demons are there. Thank you so much for watching this video. God bless you, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.